in his key address at the Moana Blue Pacific Pavilion during the session on loss and damage in reality, the existential threat of climate change on the low-lying islands of Tuvalu. Tuvalu's Minister for Finance and Economic Development, the Honorable Seve Painu, said that he had three key messages. Three key uh, messages. Unite, act, deliver. This is what we are all here for at COP28. We are already on the pathway to at least 30 centimeter of sea level rise between 2050 and 2060. This increase is already guaranteed, even with the critical interventions. Knowing that this sea level rise is inevitable, Tuvalu has implemented the Tuvalu Long-Term Adaptation Plan. The National Project Coordinator for the Tuvalu Coastal Adaptation Project, Mr. Alan Pumaresh, explains how this plan will save Tuvalu from the rising seas. Okay, Tuvalu Long-Term Adaptation Plan is um, a plan for, um, it's like a, to, to save Tuvalu from the rising seas. So uh, the, yeah, the plan is to have um, additional safe land, raised land, that could accommodate the whole of um, Tuvalu. And it, it also has, um, you know, development uh, um, aspects of it, as well as um, sustainability in terms of um, accommodating all this, the needs for Tuvalu. It is about 700 and 833 um, hectares of additional land, yes. It is not a small project, it is a very big project um, for, for Tuvalu, to, to save Tuvalu from the impacts of climate change and sea level rise. It is a big project, like I said, and it's, it will take a long time to materialize. You know, first of all, we need to get um, to sell the idea to, to donors. Uh, it's not cheap, like I said, so it, it may take up to 10, 15 years before it, you can see the final project. At the moment, even just trying to sell is what we are trying to do, and hopefully we will be able to, to get uh, some buy-ins from you know, the big donors. Um, like um, we've seen today, um, we did uh, for the Tuvalu Coastal Adaptation Project, we, we added um, seven additional hectares of land, safe land. Um, and so what we are pledging to, to the international community is we don't have enough funds, we don't have the, the we do have the, the scientific data uh, base at the front, but we don't have the technology and the funds. So if they could also pledge in, you know, uh, contribute to some uh, funding for climate financing, that would really uh, help small island countries in the Pacific like Tuvalu, you know, they, they will be able to um, save Tuvalu and save the world. For Pacifica TV at COP28 in Dubai, I'm Amalia Rigsby.